always happens when you're a teacher. You misplace things. All right, so we have graphs. We're going to use them more really quick. I'm going to have you grab a whiteboard and a whiteboard marker, and we're going to see what you learned today. So everybody needs their own whiteboard for this. And we're going to start with just this one question. Whoa, that is not what I meant. Alrighty. Here we go. We have a question. It says a trucking company delivers paper products to grocery stores. I bet they deliver, like, I don't know, paper plates, napkins, those types of things. Two of the drivers who I think are named Mel and Tom, because that's what it says on the graph, left the depot at the same time. What's a depot? It's the name of the restaurant in my hometown. Okay. What's another use of the word depot? <laughs> so storage, I heard. Maybe that's where all the things are stored. The drivers took them in their cars and each had three deliveries to make. What are some grocery stores they could deliver to? Yellow Mount. Okay. Fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks below based on the graph. On your whiteboards, I'd like you to please fill in A, B, and C. Individually. There's more whiteboards. There's more markers. We were being Disagree with Jane. I'm going to ask someone I haven't asked yet. Uh, Linda, in the front. Do you agree or disagree? Why do you agree? Because this rival went up to the district and now what happens to the goals. Thank you. Okay, I appreciate that. Thanks, Jane. And last but not least. Well, Mel's still seven hours away and about 200 miles. He better spend the night. All right. Sounds good to me. Is everyone good with this? Before we submit, can you submit it for us? Scroll down. <coughs> and for this last question, oh, we missed one. What do we think? Did everybody put Mel? Mel should stay overnight. He did not go back to the depot. Okay, so maybe you need to capitalize it. Good to know that capitals matter. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go on to one last question, but this time you only need one whiteboard because you're going to discuss in groups. So look again at the graph, mark all sentences that are true, and what I want you to do is just pick one sentence that you think is true and explain why using words on that whiteboard. Go ahead.
with the whiteboard and you think that the first one up there is correct. Alright. So go ahead and share with us Exact same thing, you well, used the word slope in your explanation? Well, we actually said the second one wasn't ah, the okay. yeah, first and third. Ah, okay. Let's talk to Jane. Jane, did you say the same thing or different? Um, you said that for every one hour that Mel drove, she was two miles away. Interesting. Okay, go ahead and sit down. If you said the second one was correct, stand up. <laughs> no one thought the second one was correct? Oh, man. All right, if you thought the third one was correct, go ahead and stand up. Different person in your group. Different person in your group. If that's the one you would start, yeah, sorry, sorry. sorry. <coughs> All right, go ahead and share with us why, Andrea. Um, I know because that's like a 200 and tons on the other side. Why axis? Okay. Uh, how was your answer similar to or different than Andrea's? Um, I didn't hear Andrea. So maybe you should ask her. Andrea, <laughs> I said, I know this is true because Mel's line goes up to 200 and Tom's line goes up to 550 on the line. We said that Mel was over 200 miles away and Tom was only 50 miles away. But by the end, Tom was only back. Okay. So similar but a little similar. bit different. All right, you can take a seat. And we're going to stop here. So, I'm going to go into non-teacher mode. You can clean off your whiteboards, put everything, all the materials back in a piece of paper. And I'm going to put a couple reflection questions up that I'd like you just to jot down on a paper, a sticky, whatever you need. 